Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is your boy LT or Lego Tune. I'm bringing you another video today. This is going to be a quick guide for the settings and slobs. Uh, I've been using it for about a couple months now and I figured out what was best for me. So I'm going to go over a couple things with you guys and hopefully, you guys, it will help you be able to stream better if you're just getting started on it or you just want to change your settings and see how it is. I'm, going, I'm not going into in depth guide on how to set up um, your scenes and everything. This is strictly just going to be about the settings, okay? let's get right into the settings first stream uh, you want to go to whatever streaming you are whatever server uh, is going to be closer to you and then your stream key on that so output here we go so it's going to be on simple and you're going to have two options here so I'm going to go over each option uh, so you want to go in here want to click advanced now the audio tracks it doesn't really matter it's really personal preference I upload to YouTube so I have two audio tracks and the reason being is if I'm playing music and a video game then on stream and I get a good gameplay I can take that cut that gameplay put it in there and remove the second audio track which would be the music and upload to YouTube because you know YouTube's pretty anal about their copyright so I that's why I use two so now here is the two options I'll give you you have x24 and Nvidia basically it's what it is I'll go over both of them as quick as I can uh, I'll try to go slow so everyone understands what's happening. So I personally use NVIDIA because my processor is old, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to go over the NVIDIA first, and then we'll go over X24. So on NVIDIA, uh, you want to use streamer service uh, server settings. Sorry. You want to use a constant bit rate. Basically, a constant bit rate is it constantly pushes out the same bit rate to your stream and not different bit rates to make some part of your stream blurry or more pixelated than others. That's basically all it is. On your bitrate, uh, I would go to the was it speedtest.net and figure out what your upload speed is, and you want to use about a fourth of that probably. Um, mine I know is 50 upload, so I use about 3,000 just because I'm not partnered, and I don't want someone who has lower internet not to be able to come watch because you know they can't. We don't have the uh, quality settings on our stream yet. Uh, but also I use 3000 because my girlfriend streams at 2500 and we both play Xbox or PC whatever we're playing at the time So that just gives us a little bit of wiggle room and it, and it still looks great for me anyways Okay, so keyframe intervals you want two uh, Twitch says one two so you put two I notice if you don't put two it causes some issues So just put two and move on with it now the preset I put a high quality now they added a couple more you can put high performance low latency high quality i feel like a low latency high quality is yeah it's more real time um communication but it's also I, I feel like you lose in quality a little bit so i just go high quality profile i leave to main and if you're using nvidia you want to use two pass encoder and the reason for this is because two pass encoder it's like it's passing the footage through your graphics card two times before it releases it to your stream, right? Like it's super fast, and it get this. You know, one time it gets rid of some pixelation. The second time it gets rid of the rest of the rest of the pixelation, and it puts it out. And if you don't have it on, it only goes through once, and all that, all that excess pixelation that's left there gets put out to your stream, and it's not very good. Uh, B frames also uh, leave B frames at two. I know you can go up to like five B frames, but you need like a really really strong card for that. So that's on the Nvidia side. Okay, now I've tested these settings out for me personally, and they work fantastic. So now we'll go to X24. X24 is the same thing, pretty much. You want to use this? So mine would be three thousand on my bit rate. Game frames will be two because Twitch says so. Now here's where it can change from person to person. CPU usage preset higher equals less CPU. So I have to do it on very fast, and even sometimes that hurts me, right? And like I said, I have a pretty old CPU. Um, I have the FX sixty three hundred. It's a six core processor, three point five gigahertz, right? And it's just 
very fast is where I run it at. Now, if if you run it at 720, 60 FPS or something like that, and you're running it just like this, and then you see like high encoder settings or you're starting to drop a lot of frames, you want to come to this and you know drop it to maybe super fast if you have a even worse PC, or if you have just like God PC, like a new Ryzen 7 or a Threadripper or something like that, you can probably go too fast and be just fine with it, and your quality would be great. Me personally, I use uh, very fast, and sometimes I do have to go to super fast. Um, but now that I have my video card, I really don't use this too much anymore. But I did use it for a couple weeks just to test out the settings for this video. Um, so I mainly it's super fast for me. Uh, again, the quality on here is main, and I don't even mess with this stuff. So, and that's for this is for 1080 or 720. We'll get into that in a minute. So let me put these settings back to where I need them. So 3,000 for me. Two. Reset. High quality. Main. Best coders. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. So moving on from that, you want to go to video settings. So whatever your base canvas is, whatever your screen is, is what you want your base canvas to be. I have a 1920-1080 screen. So that's my base canvas. Um, now, depending on what you want to stream in, this is what's very important. If you have a good enough computer to stream in 1080, you don't have to downscale, right? I fortunately do not. And people wouldn't be able to watch my stream if I streamed 1080 because it looked like crap and yeah, it wouldn't be good. So you want to downscale. Most of the time you want to downscale to about 720, right? Because it's still HD. It's nice. Okay, what happened here? Okay, there you go. 720. Now Downscale filter, um, you want to try to use 32, but if you're using NVIDIA or X24 and you're downscaling to 720 and you're still having problems, one thing you can do is come to this and change it from 32 to 16. And there's literally been a couple times where I've done that one thing and the stream went smooth on from there. So it's just something you have to play with yourself. Now, here's a big uh, kind of topic that I've been reading about on Reddit and stuff, and I've been trying it out myself for the last three weeks. So most people are going to use a common FPS and they're going to go out on here and just click 30 or 60, which is okay, right? It's nothing wrong with that. Me personally, I've been trying this integer FPS value and you have to actually type it in. So type in 60 or you have to type in whatever you're going to use. So it'd be like 30, right? And so I feel, I've felt like it's made me lose less frames. Because in a stream, I usually lose about 0 0.01 frames. I usually lose about anywhere from 100 to 150 on a on a good day. And that's every stream. But since I changed it, I've lost maybe like 20, 25. And on a bad day, I'd lose maybe 1,000. And on a bad day with this setting, i lose maybe about 600. So that's for you to decide. Those are the settings I wanted to give you guys. Um, like I said, this is pretty awesome. Go check it out for yourself. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see an in-depth guide on uh, setup and uh, how to do the Steam Labs for hosting and your follow alerts and all that good stuff, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next motherfucking video. Peace.